In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for FeOH3 plus H2SO4. This is iron 3 hydroxide and this is sulfuric acid. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I have three sulfate ions here and only one here. So I'm just going to put a 3 in front of the H2SO4. Two irons and just one here. We'll put a 2. Then we balance the oxygens and hydrogens. Looks like a six, and that would balance the molecular equation. If you need help, there's a link in the description how to balance this equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. In general, hydroxides with these transition metals, they are not soluble, they're insoluble. Put a little S, this is gonna be a solid. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid, so it's gonna be a strong electrolyte. It'll dissociate into its ions. Sulfates in general are soluble, but there are some exceptions, and so I want to check this on a solubility chart here. This is kind of small, but we can find iron 3 right here, and then the sulfate over here. So I'm going to go down, and then I'm going to go across, and I see SS. SS means it's going to be slightly soluble. Only a very small amount will dissolve in water. With ionic equations, we consider slightly soluble to be insoluble. So let's put a little S for a solid and then an L for liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. This is the complete ionic equation. This is a solid here, so we can't split that apart. So we're just going to put 2FeOH3 like this, and I'll write the states later. Sulfuric acid, that's aqueous, strong electrolyte. So hydrogen, group one, one plus, and the whole sulfate ion, that's always two minus. So I have three times two of those hydrogen ions, three sulfate ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. We have another solid here, which we won't split apart, Fe2SO4, three. And then we have the six water molecules. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They appear on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In this case, I don't see anything that's the same in the reactants and the products. So the net ionic equation and the complete ionic equation, they're the same thing. Let me clean this up, add the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation for FeOH3 plus H2SO4. So this is a bit of a tricky net ionic equation. You need to realize that this is a solid here, our iron three hydroxide, and also that this iron three sulfate, it's a solid as well. So we end up with the net ionic equation and the complete ion equation being the same. If you look at charge, we have six positive charges here, and then three times the two negative charge, minus six. So that six plus six minus, they cancel out and all of the products are neutral. If you counted the atoms up, each type of atom, they would also be the same on both sides, so mass would be conserved as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for FeOH3 plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.